Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? It's me, Fashile. And today, the plans have changed. They have changed in a way that I never thought was going to be possible because uh, an official Sonic visual novel exists and I am going to play it right now. So if you don't mind, I'm going to turn the sound back up. And uh, we're going to find out what's in this together because I have been asking for a Sonic visual novel for a very, very, very long time, and now one exists, and I am happy because of that. Whew! Made on a train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good. My first day on the job. Is this... He likes the, the forces guy. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready. I should make one. I'll just send my name here. Gile, that's my name. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Oh, dude, this, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I was in total shock, complete and utter shock when I saw the official Sonic account tweet this out, bro. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this the first day on the job, Jitters? Working a train in a car can't be so bad. Come on, Fashal, shake it off. Damn, I slapped myself. Fashal, did I, uh. <clears throat> just see you hitting yourself? Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, <laughs> how you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite alright myself, though I'm feeling a little bit of sweet. Why are you feeling a bit sweet, bro? Oh, truth be told, not really. The last day is about- Damn! Oh, wait, you know what? You're retiring. That's cool. Good job. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say the goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife was very excited about it. That was Spagoni? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm already- I'm already- y You can't see it, but I am smiling. A lot. Our shower is on the fridge, so I'm sorry to use hotels. I can see why his wife excited. Damn. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Add it to the inventory. All right, what we got in here? Our first dynamics feature chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken quarter. What Sonic character is eating instant ramen? Huh? And who, aside from Rouge, would be eating the, well, I guess Blaze too, would be eating the chicken cordon blue? What? What do you mean? You have a Michael? That's it? Okay. Alright. Oh, uh, quiz? What quiz? Oh. Spicy grilled picky? What is that? I love Crab Rangoon though. Crab Rangoon is awesome. Glad yeah, you can read any okay. Alright. But the rest of the state of the art high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Who made it is the question. Train can really handle anything you throw at it, so if I throw a planet at it, it would be fine. Yeah, a lot of adventures being to get together, me and train, it's not easy to leave. After 32 years of Yeah, for real. This train is exclusively used for events, it's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview, what's the event today? A murder mystery party! Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guess we'll be funneled in- funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to get the tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. I need to do everything in your power to make sure I'm paying guests well taken care of, understood? I got this! I got this. This would be smooth. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening all aboard. 
Oh, that's a nice looking train. Amy, there's Knuckles. Who's that behind Knuckles? Is that Tails? Oh, Amy looks nice. Oh, that is Tails. Oh, look at the lad. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Oh, shit, what's up, Vector? You're right, Tails. I can get you staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I was going on love for my birthday party. That you do. Aw, Rouge is looking nice. I like the shades. The train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Yeah, I promise I won't take anything. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. He's wearing his boot. Yo! 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 That's the hat! That's the hat from the OVA from 94. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, this makes me very happy. Who's a pen, Knucklehead? Who's gonna miss a pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, for y'all. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? He looks nice in that outfit. Um. Well, aren't you friendly? Of course I am. I'm like your biggest fan ever, bro. <laughs> Why can't I be normal for once? Hey, 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 hey. Don't mess this up for me, man. Todd Hick, wait till I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me for sure, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Damn, he looks so angry. <laughs> like, he does not want to be here. <laughs> <clears throat> here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is he concerned, or is that just his natural face? Is there anything we can help you with? You sell gift bags here. Uh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag and a pack I could get for you. That stare. So cold. Shell, you're shivering. You need me to fetch your jacket? Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Alright, uh, what is that? Oh, man. Yes, it did. The arm is not having that. <laughs> okay. A goals. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Huh. Can I get you a ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you, may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? Ah, uh, no thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's like a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. My first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. Eggman took over, and I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you'd swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. 
I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he? Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Bro, how you live? How you, how do you how do you live in this universe and not know who he is, bro? Get a grip. You're supposed to be me. I promise you an excellent sale on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Well, given the title, um, I'm not all that sure he's gonna have a good time. <laughs> yes, have uh, f have fun now. We'll do. Thanks. What's Espio wearing? We please see your ticket. Of course. Excellent. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calm? He read my mind? Uh, he's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate to the subconscious. Oh, wow, ninjutsu. That's that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Wait, why was I able to toggle? Interesting. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Ah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be... He doesn't have a ticket, does he? I'm being a miss, sir. I see... <laughs> I seem to have, uh... Misplaced my ticket. Did you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that'd be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems that we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Okay, out of all the... Oh! That's neat. Oh my god, look at Bla her. I love her outfit. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Pup, 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 pup. Princess? She just say like princess? Don't mind me asking. Are you visiting from somewhere? Uh, yes, actually. I'm from a completely different dimension. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ha ha ha, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh sh should I bow? Do, do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. I'm back if you need anything else, you hear? Oh, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Mama, how did she... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. How in the process of her pulling out her own ticket did she swipe $20 from OG? When? What? <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. <laughs> I may not actually be the best at judging character. Alright, last but not least. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery, uh, a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? See, I'm a girl who loves a true. Cr mm, that's concerning. 
Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before I move along, for you, miss. Oh, that's a neat looking key. That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Uh, so it's like a keyblade? Birthday girl gets birthday key. It's practically tradition. And useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. That. Yeah, that's everybody, right? There's no one else to talk to. Oh. Is that Vector's ticket? That is Vector's ticket. Yeah, there we go. I was really worried you kicked me out. <laughs> oh, for sure, I would have the hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. All right, everyone, time for me to read everyone's role for the murder mystery. That's my cue to leave. I must prepare... <clears throat> I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You do everything in your power to make sure I guess have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? It's just for sure if they need any help, won't you? Haha, <laughs> that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. I feel like... I feel like... That could be Eggman in a disguise, or a copy of Eggman in a disguise. But who knows? There's more heart woman than a conductor in a train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that might be a problem if I'm to be solving a murder mystery. For anything else, please talk to Shell here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. We'll do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for Oh, and the Alfred guy that I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? It must be the details and the motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the mystery murder game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain. And you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Okay, that's what Sonic's gonna be. Actually, that's where the captain would go. Then you are the you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the the train has a saloon. Got it. Bruise, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of the industry. Both in the the train has a casino too. What's the difference? There is none. Uh. Huh? Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet. Both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow was a locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Uh. Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Ah, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. 
Ooh, I got a map. Okay, this makes remembering where people are going to be easy. Everyone stays and walks on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to the inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murder amongst you. God damn it, I can never fucking escape among us. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must be physically present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow, fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Everyone ready? Sounds like everyone excited. Everyone to your stations! I'm very excited to, uh, to go through this mystery. Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> this is nice. Can you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Really? So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. Oh. So. This naturally rules out Tails and Amy as doing it. I wonder if I should write a physical note, like, per timer. I mean, per hour. I might do that. This way, the owner's a neutral party. That's to me. I mean, Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably expecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? Nope. The lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. It's a flicky! Aww. My backstory is I was best friends with the flicky that decided to join the <clears throat> evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Well, journalists are pretty nosy people by proxy of their job. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. Wish I was stuck on microwave duty. Uh, hello? The train started mo Is the train not supposed to be moving? Was the train supposed to be stationary the whole time? Uh... Uh, okay. Wait, he did say the train is on the... What? Huh? Oh shit, wait a minute. Hey yo! <laughs> You're both awake! <clears throat> yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's cl- How? Was it going that fast? Can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth this, with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. The child, could you get the door? Of course. Even the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that phone the shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Don't tell me she didn't bring her hammer, bro.
Wait. Okay, so she either didn't bring her hammer or uh, she has something to do with this. It's really weird. Yeah, see, me and Tails on the same page. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the, I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. Gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can in this closet, and then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. We need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay, so. Of what appears to be examiner. Wait, whoop. Well, hey, look at that. That's. That's the rod to her hammer. Okay, interesting. The microwave is oh, I can't interact with the microwave. Can't interact with the wine. Uh, there's a shelf. There's a dent on the shelf. Wet sign. Sit on the floor. And there's a waste basket. Hmm. I mean, I was hidden in the trash. Let's check there. That leads at ah man. All right. So what's what what's up with the caution sign? Let's just slip on some spill juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is fast to say. Alternatively, Tails could have like spun his tails and you know broke his own fall. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the. <laughs> We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Hmm. I'm glad Tails know how to cook. Yo, cast iron pizza goes crazy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay, so. I feel like there's something behind Amy that I need to get to, but she's in the way. So I'm gonna examine the shelf first. The shelf blocking her exit is currently not budging. Now, shall I look closely at this? Yeah, see, the dent. The dent is weird because, because that's a very specific kind of dent, right? And if that just like fell over from the train speeding up, why would it only be damaged right there? Exactly, see? Look on the shelf at its inventory. You can find enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Alright. What, uh, what you acting weird for, gang? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we could. Okay, Amy. Take ourselves out. On a train. I'll keep looking. Let me talk to her. Any clues yet? Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck here, here just like the two of you. What and what do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? I don't think you were sitting idly while Fushal and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempt to escape or help me search for a way out. We have evidence to prove that? Fushal, let me step you through this. 
First, find a correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? See this. Would be the cock on the shelf, right? Whoops. Sonic, dude. What? Sonic will force me to because I'm running forward because the rain crushing man never loses. I feel like. Wait, huh? Close your eyes and think what was Sonic doing to find your argument? Okay, it's proven not grasp. Let's follow train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. What? What? What is this? Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is nice. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Uh, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? What is that, a stick? I truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage. No, but a hammer could. How many rings do I lose if I get hit? I don't want to find out, but I'm probably going to run into them by accident at some point later on. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say... A hammer? Ah. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Ah. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, ah. As you both said, I tried to get a solo with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. He does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Never expect your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Tighten things here, little piece there, and fixed. Oh, Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, you should do the trick. Alright, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Alright. That's one part to- Oh! That's safe. Thank you. Wait, is that? Oh my god, that- <laughs> Bro, that might as that might as well be a fucking Yamcha pose. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It can't be Sonic. Someone murdered my. Why is she smiling about that? Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did- I feel like it 
Might have been Amy. Wait for me! Uh, what a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. <laughs> Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. Just need to... Rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He... He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. What dude, is he- Yo, yo, yo. Yo, is he actually dead? <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic. Sonic. Oh no. Oh no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down for Shiloh. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you for Shao, my favorite impl- I just started today. How am I your favorite? Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is great. It's a loon car. Whoa, look at this place. Child, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Time doesn't go down so easily. He's on the train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic Knight to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I... I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. The train rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just wanna hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How was everyone great at reading people but me? As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work here when we ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. Is this true? E varmints. What are you doing to my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles. Trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mows it through and told me all about it. Enough of that. Went online and kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what happened. Wow. I 
read the words that were not there. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Shao, we need to figure out what Knuckles were up to when we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right. Let's do it. Okay, so we got a cave machine, we got an Omo Chow poster. We got the outside, arm, pups, another waste bin, and a bowl of whatever that is. And the doors. Let us examine the food. Oh, the bowl of assorted nuts. Classic saloon snack. <laughs> Kinda bland. Uh, it seems like someone looked all the salt off of him. Oh, that's gross. And they put them back? Ew. Or maybe they're just insulted. Alright. Uh. That red mark on the cup. Nobody was wearing lipstick, at least as far as I noticed. And the only, the only person that would reasonably wear lipstick would be Rouge. I don't, I don't take Blaze or Amy to wear lipstick. Who won't be able to give, give the Super Monkey Ball a try? Do you think it broke when the train sped up? That must look more to be caused from... I... Listen, 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 listen. Knuckles was playing Super Monkey Ball. He started losing, and then he punched it. Yep. Yep. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Masked arcades added to inventory. I think you found... Really? That's it? Go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Okay, but before we do that, robotic so arms are really helpful. What's the arm doing in my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. Interesting tech. Oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can I? I feel like that's a commentary on real life AI stuff. All right, Knuckles, talk to me. But I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. <laughs> Is that me? Did you just adjust your hat so he could see it better? I said, leave. Hmm. He seems a little pissed off, but. Knuckles? Michelle and I need to determine what you were doing the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Michelle, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? Tuh! <laughs> what made you think I touched it? Oh, the spike balls are here now. Ah! No! You have no arguments. You are weak. Now yeah, let's follow the train thought again, shall we? I got distracted by the spike balls. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Ah!
This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... <laughs> what evidence do you have the damages of punches? Knuckles, come on, man. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed the punching bag and none were available to me. It's a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe the repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you... I'm on it. Vishal, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. I love this. Ah. Okay, I can't jump over the spike balls. That's good. Oh no. <laughs> ha! Now Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet. Shall I try again? I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. Ah. Damn it. All right, I got it this time. I got it this time. Yeah. Your yeah, cave machine is how did you fix that that fast? No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the score. <laughs> I am pulling it up now. He lost the top score by one point. Damn. Look the name on top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the lo What was he doing in the saloon? Huh. Yeah, he beat you by one point there, brother. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Ah! He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! Nice. Now for Shile, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Wait, I'm actually not sure. Um. Wait a minute. I guess it would be the cups, but Vector doesn't wear lipstick. Um. And can't use that because it's fixed now, so. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you're supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game from the birthday party. You and Vector enjoy some drinks, playing arcade. It's not like... It's not... It wasn't... Uh, don't tell, Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in the top of the other one played the arcade machine with me. Who 
went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix your K account before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. That's my story and alibi. Already told in a bridge version of this taming. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. That is true. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What is the cup with the lipstick mark? Hmm. Rouge was... Okay, so I was right. Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. He starts to run for something and failed. Made fun of our game and left. Knocked is that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up. And I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. You're not satisfied? You to relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Detective is to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left, and Knuckles destroyed the machine. All makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on a high score list doesn't make sense. But y'all, can you take a look one more time? Odd name on a high score list. This tale is talking about. Toast, apple, bread, oatem, bagel, candy? Uh, all the other names are the food theme, but this one. Well, here it goes by Ultim. You may not know for sure, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate life form. <sighs> There's really someone here that goes by that? Doesn't well, sneak by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was first to get his name on the board. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow. Score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then, he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You have to find them and ask them yourselves. Right. This is coming together so far, I like this. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do it, Sheriff. Come on, Fashile. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than Mike waving jelly dogs. Fashile! Oh, shit. Coming. Are you to mosey down to the next car? Why wouldn't I leave this area? Onwards. Okay. Is this Professor Pickle's library from Sonic Unleashed? Oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. 
Oh, okay. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espy and I want to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Oh, the detective Perry needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm... Uh... Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean... <laughs> besides that... Besides murder? Uh, my social skills... Non-existent. I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspective with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh, uh. Teardrops in the spring. Can you wait a minute? There's a power type chow here. There's another power type chow here. There's a. There's a hero chow with the. With the evil grin. That's a fly type, I can't... No, that's a swimming type, Chow. Was that it? I have more if you'd like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I am uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Shadow and I are here to establish both your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy and everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. We were all sent off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and SVO to stay. I promptly picked up a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in, in the saloon car. Yep. Who was Rouge? He happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But then she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Well, his role is locksmith, isn't he? Isn't it so... I would explain an obsession with locking things, but not really give a clear reason as to why he's doing it. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returns to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. 
When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were so worried about the bookshelves following us, but we got through it alright. We sat trapped here until Amy asked, arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. <sighs> With all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. Return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with the poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Expio was actually in the library car reading. Okay. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Okay. Hmm. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulls a lot of these out too, searching for something. Reckless behavior. I'm sorry for the poor books. Vines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Hmm. 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 Ooh, brochures! You know, travel destination ideas here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Yeah, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. Seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. <laughs> nah, leave it. <laughs> Nobody shares my fondness with Gabe's. Hmm. Aw, oh, poor thing. The Army 3 is struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. A glow of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. Who can't be beat either? Ah. <sighs> Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you ever visit- okay. They have been saying a lot of time that, uh, everything is canon. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and hire Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. Uh, X to doubt on that one. Why can't I examine the table? Hmm. Oh, no, don't fall asleep. But I might have remember. If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, there's nothing here. Ah, there thought there'd be something in there. Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no, 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 no. I might. I'm sure, uh, 
There's something in the next trash bin we find. Do you think so? Uh, yeah. Just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Okay. This trash had a secret. I'm sure of it. You're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Hmm? Is this in reference to Frontiers? <laughs> There's no way that much thought was put into this poster, right? Hmm. There isn't a whole lot to gather as evidence here. Oh, well, so much for that. Okay. I feel like this is going to be important. Well, the only thing left to examine are the door and the guys. Ashley tried to bring a knife on the train. A man of authenticity tells the knife I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> Damn. Bone. I've made it to space. My beloved antique face, but a mistake in my haste dropped the face of my embrace and on my antique and I must now replace. Don't read too deeply, it's just a bone. Huh? Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. Gotta be reading he's doing all this. Okay. I guess I'll start with Vector. So, two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. But Shao and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espia really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? Prepare to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? Why? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle, remember? I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gather with Knuckles. And that brings us to our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Uh, once SVO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. It was a book. Um, SVO doesn't argue that detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? You won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Pushal, could you help me out? 
All right. What do we think SP was reading? A manual? You think SP was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Well, that was the right option. Ah, whoops. Oh boy. Interesting. That was easy. There are books scattered around on the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves are all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. <laughs> this lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insult my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espia. Uh, butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Narod's Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we want to ask you a few questions about the manual. But Shile, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espia some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Ah, the quiz asked me about the manual to prove he read it. Change the quiz I'm on. Um. Well, if he doesn't stop reading a book until it's done, let's go to a high number page. Okay. Um. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed? To assist in keeping the train spotless. Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. In my SPR ace that question, we shall hit him with another one. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no show fee. This does not apply if you are the over the age of 65. Either the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, for shall. Let's see if SPR can go three for three. What was implemented to support the conductor duties in each general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot but can't access its full suite of cap capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers are far too specific to your guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't want to be supporting folks who read. You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. Very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's attitudes. Cautious. Everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Eh. Well, you definitely went through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espion, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that could be true. We have evidence to back it up. Gile? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, for shall thing. She have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SPR reading, but what? Sure. 
Shadow's Lock. Please pray tell what this has to do with anything. Hurry up, Vishal. Let's get our argument together. Yeah, because if Shadow was passing through here, Shadow would have seen him reading. Uh oh. I... Yep. Wait. Ooh, okay, that was close. Shadow walked through the library card to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. Wasn't the high score long? Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in a saloon car, Espion was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. <laughs> we know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espion didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, uh -huh. it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... You see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending an argument the entire time he was reading is not easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from a saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? G but how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Fishal. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back to the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah. I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't! I, I, I didn't! Why doesn't this seem right to me? Nails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not know Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Oh shit, I feel like... Hmm... If Espio was as ingrained as he's saying, it kind of makes sense that he wouldn't notice Shadow, but at the same time, the way Tails is pressing Espio, he's not he's not making his case any but I'm gonna go with Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on something. Let me continue the line of questioning and Oh. Oh. I guess I picked the wrong option. Tails! Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Nesfield couldn't have seen one of the map? Oh, that's right, because... If Espia was sitting at one of the tables, not the one in the center, but one by the shelf, that would obscure someone's si Oh! Oh! Yo! Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I can see that.
Ah. You know, that's what I get for being greedy. The library map? Oh, oh I see. Do the exits? They're right across from one another. Straight path. If Shadow walked down a straight path, there is a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out exactly on the map what you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow not to see him? Interesting. That's why I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. I confirmed it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in a- Yep. Here we go. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. Oh, we did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Okay. So. So far. It couldn't have been Knuckles. I'm still a little sketch on Amy. But it couldn't have been Espio or Vector at this point. Okay. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise. I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I still have plenty of questions for Ruse, and especially Shadow. Ah, it seems like the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. That's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give them heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. Murder is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Fashal, let's see what's next. Come in. Sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Nope. We've, uh... We got a mystery to solve, bud. Okay, the investigation continues. All this stuff's heavy. I'll dump when I don't need. Bruce, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very, very distracted by the chow with the mustache and the glasses. <laughs> uh, oh boy. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. You had to explain? Uh Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Please? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure, rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? You didn't tell me about any treasure in the interview? Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, thief, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright. Well, it's a Faberge Chow Egg. 
Huh? Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy a birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Faber's Chow egg is in here and his train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Those train blueprints? I found the train blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Ah, 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 ah. Finders keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Faber's chow egg. But we're not getting anyone without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone help. Okay. But my next question is, why is there an elevator on a train? How big is this damn thing? So, you want us to help you steal the Faberge Chow Egg. Blaze? You don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Michelle, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares, it's time for a five finger discount. Either way, we're gonna have to help them to proceed, so. Well, I suppose if Blaze and Fashail are in. Okay, let's get that for Bear's Chow Egg. <laughs> that's a ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. What? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Faber's Chow Egg is the room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Hmm... Attacking is a no-go, because that would cost me my job. Um... I don't think we have anything to bribe the guy with, except... Offering him food, maybe? And distracting... I'm pretty sure he would be expected to have someone try and distract him, so I'm gonna go with bribery. Anyone have anything we can use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Oh, here's the trading card. I'm not giving you anything. <clears throat> Damn. Maybe bribing isn't the way to go. Track them. Perfect. Not oh, charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. But Sean, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay. Who's distracting the security guard? Um, I feel like it would be... See, Rouge would probably be the best option because that's kind of her thing, but also, I feel like because she's been all over the place, she'd probably be suspicious, and Tails has been with me the whole time, so it would either be Tails or Blaze, but if I had to pick someone, I would probably go with Blaze, even though... 
that might not work because she's been here the whole time and if the god has been paying attention to her he might not be willing to listen but i'll take that risk anyway yo what's popping bro think you could distract the guard blaze in my life i've never let a single person down i won't falter great her voice was so stoic chills well i trust her moving on what's the distraction um pretend the claw machine is stuck push a bunch of bunch of poker chips what as the child for the partner and kids um i feel like the third option would be the best because it gets them to talk excellent people love talking about themselves this will easily distract the guard perfect i think we can move on then what do you mean oh god rouge is here with the guard distracted rouge how will you get the access card hmm that's a no-go, that's a no-go. Pick a pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. Chow and Uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. Count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Bashara, what's your plan? This would probably get Blaze to, like, kill me, but then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? W well, I, uh, uh, um, you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! Alright, that wasn't it. So... Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never... The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Um... Oh, uh, okay. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do you do about the mechanical attack? Attack? Uh, attacking? What do you mean attack? My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Uh, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that needs to slice to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while on the tightening their grip. Why am I getting. <laughs> Why am I the one getting choked out, bro? John is happy to say this plan is perfect. Everyone's ready. It's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what's up that elevator. Still trying to figure out why a train has an elevator on it. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. 
Couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we'll claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our for Bear's Chow Egg. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that is a very extravagant looking chow egg. Well, that's the... I think that's the case for the egg. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Okay, so it's not a real chow egg. Okay. Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows a secret because anyone who's opened these, opened one of these, have never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should, uh... All you need to do is twist it! Yo, that's a bomb! It's a bomb! <gasps> Whoa! Uh... Um... Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Rouge. Has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? <laughs> I think we're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work, Rouge. Fine, fine. What would we do? Where do I put this? Maybe close the safe? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bu- What are all these options? Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine. It's going back in. Huh? Tell the safe won't lock. The door stay- Oh, God. Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some real way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How we... I think I should save my game. We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Um. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> twist it again? Good idea. Stop, stop. It's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Do I really have to go through all of these options? <laughs> Take one for the team. Yo. <laughs> Here, give it to me. Huh? Get as far away from me as possible. <laughs> Just remember me as I am. A hero. <laughs> no, Fisha. We won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want. Who are we? <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Oh man. Stop. The microwave kid's obviously not gonna sacrifice himself. The body is far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else. Quickly. Mmm. Uh that's a very tempting option. 
just like how just how I like my eggs smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Uh. As they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. <laughs> what a prude. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're really telling us? <laughs> Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, for Shiloh? <laughs> Maybe. Wait a wait, Blaze can't can do chaos control, but she doesn't have an emerald. Unless she has the soul emeralds with her? What did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter, we need a chaos emerald. Oh, god damn it. Well, dang it. <clears throat> Tell the egg to stop. Uh, stop. That did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb down with your tail it's like a fan worth a try I still hear the ticking however refreshing the bees may be okay new plan <laughs> eat it now without any salt I won't really for shall probably put time for jokes huh what do you mean by this you know red wire blue wire yeah cut one like the movies this isn't a move for shall this is real life He's got a good point. Toss the egg in the elevator. All right, down it goes. We're clearly not gonna blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Smash against the wall. All right, here goes nothing. Rouge. We uh, <laughs> we should think of a different plan. <laughs> Flip the egg upside down. <laughs> What's flipping it gonna do? I don't know, try it. It actually flipped, the image actually flipped upside down. Happy? Yes. Are you insane? He wants you to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Shao. That's our goal. Listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? What? Wait, that's right. Shao, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Get it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just. Aspio did say something interesting when we quizzed about the train's manual. See? What efficient and extremely accurate technology was the start to keep thoughtless robotic arms during a vest. Robotic guys can. Oh! 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 I didn't even think about that! Oh, shit! Yo! Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of function on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as for Bear's child egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So, if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Uh, okay, we wait. Uh, okay. What if we like some type of, like, I don't know, pressure cooker for an egg? The egg! It opened! It's hollow! Not a bomb at all! We both really were on to something. Ooh! My, my! Oh, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right. Thankfully. Eh, hey, look what's inside. Oh my god. Now that is cool. And where do I get one? Wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Faber's Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's, it's exquisite. 
It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Yes. Yes, she is. Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Bear Chow Egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure and a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as it's been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Ah, good call. Let's go. Well, that was fun. No one seemed to suspect anything. And a security guard is back at their post. How long the damn bombs time in all the talking shit thought to see what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your existence. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was uh, strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? He's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? 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 What is it, darling? Uh, about those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said. Finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get on our way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, you've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Fashao, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Well, that rules on both of them is killing Sonic. What, the arms get to play games too? Hey, Billy's robots on Sonic quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. At the very least, things operating smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Alright, well, I guess the only way to go was uh, forward, but I want to talk to Blaze and Rouge first. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. You think you'd go with your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure. We left the dining car, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the bear's chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, and then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key, and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you're here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You take a look. Let's see, 14,000 credits! Damn. That's an enormous payout! How did you. I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That's smart. She's so self aware. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, you tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course. And do. 
We got like several different alibis for Rouge, but I'll ask her for it anyway. You think you're going with the alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately rubbed her under my for Bear's chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and Anne's moon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. <gasps> Excuse me. I hardly had chase. Uh, I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. All right, next. This is a murder mystery game. Yep. Yep. Sure is. And um. The, uh, the official Twitter account tweeted about it as, like, their April Fool's thing. Even though it's not April Fool's yet here in the States. But, uh, yeah, it came out today. And it's really, really different. And I've been asking for a Sonic visual novel for a very, very long time. Lounge car. That closet is already suspicious to me. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking the- She already- He's instantly accusing Shadow? It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I- No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, 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 what's going on? Cut. <laughs> See, you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. I also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you can leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, for Shadow, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some master's tales? Indubitably, my dear for Shadow. And on that note, I will be right back because I got, I am back. Perfect time to be chilled out right now. I want one. I want one really, really bad. What the fuck's up with this closet? John, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Alright. Is, really, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Alright. Watch a pro. Damn, is it dusty in there or something? Oh, yep. Yeah. What's that? Why does the wardrobe have a pull string in it? What? Huh? Hey, yo, that's interesting. Hmm, could that be how Shadow was getting around so damn fast? Holy shit, I'm glad I was right <laughs> to immediately be suspicious of the door. Yo, go me, for real.
Hmm. Key ring must be shadows, the locksmith. Interesting that there's only two keys. The locksmith have a bunch. Well, he has been handing keys to people the entire time. That has been a consistent event that's been happening. The printer hooked up to the computer. Print something? Huh? This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface is very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Yep. This is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. I want to print the other one. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. And there. We're like a charm. Here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Ah, uh, nope, not listening to me. Ah, uh, I'm quite parched too. Ah, no, 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 I'll be alright, Tails. Wait, will it give me a high five, though? Oh, come on, really? I give you a high five. Ah, oh, sweet. Ah. <laughs> uh, we appreciate Tails around these parts. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. We'll all be revealed in due time. I think I'm sharing a big light on this whole case. No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. Be ready to challenge Shadow. Talk to him. I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. Seems confident. Uh, alright. I feel like that. So, it's definitely not Tails, because Tails was with us the entire time. I mean, from start to finish. He was, he was there and the main train car when before everything took off he was with us when we somehow got flung into into the supply closet with amy because i don't think the train took off and was going that fast for all three of us to be flung in there and then you know the shelf just be in front of the door like that but he woke up at the same time we did and he's been with us from the very beginning. So it cannot be. It is not Tails at all. There's no way it could be Tails. But I'm a little suspicious of Amy, though. I feel like it might be Amy. Or, or you know, it could, it, it could be a surprise Eggman moment. We don't know. Hey, it's the big chow band. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Ah, uh, there's nothing left to interact with. Wait. Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty for Shile. <laughs> You've been disappointed every time. 
Uh, are you gonna get sad again and look in the trash bin for Shile? Mm. There's always something in the trash bin. Ugh. All right, let's check the trash bin. Yo, yo, was there something in it this time? Yo! <laughs> finally! <laughs> it was finally something in the fucking trash bin. I'm gonna put it on the front page of a ticket website. It's with the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always a success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Okay. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. Stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. A child. We certainly will not. Alright, here we go. Shadow, we have questions for you. You three get out. I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Whoa, Shadow ready to score up. Look at, <laughs> look at his hands. <clears throat> Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Haha, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? Yeah? So Shadow was locking on the door. Oh, is she gonna accuse him of killing Sonic? But that's not possible, because Sonic was in the main car, the dining hall car. That's where he was found dead. Because if Shadow were, if Shadow was the murderer, and he locked Sonic in the conductor's car, he'd have been in the conductor's car, not the dining hall. But okay. Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Um... So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the other... all the others so no one... so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Your conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Who's the fucking source? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Does the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how- Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Tails! Then how was Sonic found in the dining car? <laughs> exactly. I think Fashile and I can explain the car change, however. Uh... Gile, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Wait, no. Could have gotten to the dining car. Uh, it would be the the hidden passage, right? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. 
Oh, I picked the right one. Yeah, Amy too. A little too. I don't know. Sus. Yeah, Amy. A Amy is uh, she she's been being weird this whole time. Ooh, almost missed it. Shia and I found a hidden passage in a world that leads right to the library car. <laughs> what? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work for Shile. Huh. This adjusts my theory a bit. So, Shadow murdered so Damn, she she's just hard pointing the finger at Shadow, bro. Damn. So, Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. That doesn't work because Shadow would have had to have dragged Sonic's body past SBO and Vector, even though SBO was caught up in a book and Vector was in the saloon car, which is before the dining car. And that, and he also would have dragged that past Knuckles, who would have noticed Shadow while they were taking turns playing Super Monkey. Ball. That does not work. <laughs> Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am. But of course, this is just a theory. I um don't have any evidence to back this up. Other than my it was Amy. Amy did it. Amy did it. I'm blaming Amy. Amy killed Sonic. Seems Tails and I are more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did S. They see, see, see! <laughs> oh my God! Then how did S. B. O. and Vector not see him? Well, um. I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. But Shadow, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, SPO and Vector didn't see Shadow because... <laughs> I believe SPO was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <laughs> SPO reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. Lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector, whatever that game was, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? <sighs> if you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone has been able to unlock the next door for us. Uh, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. But Shadow and I can further validate, <clears throat> validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? But Shadow, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? All right. You being caught up left and right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I really think it's Amy. I very strongly believe that it was Amy. We just gotta, you know, catch our slipping.
there's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. <laughs> no way! What, what, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Gah! Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Huh? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Huh. She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think for Shadow and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. <laughs> why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Huh? Just, um... Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. The child? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave her her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Because he couldn't f- Yo, that's right, because we were stuck in the fucking uh, supply closet. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you, and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted us to. Very compelling argument, so maybe... Uh, was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, for Shadow. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh... uh what? <laughs> Excuse me? Shadow would never do that! It's my birthday! You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ugh. How, how dare. But Shadow, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay. Okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? The band. Uh, paper. That feels right. Whew. Organize my thoughts. This this is a very, very fun. Like, I'm having so much more fun with this than I thought I would. That I'm like, oh my god. For the first official, like, Sonic visual novel, and it being a murder mystery, this is very well put together. Uh-oh, probably shouldn't did that. Never mind. This is very, very fun. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. It's Tails! Don't! <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website! No way! I love them! Uh... Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is... Uh... My current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yeah! <laughs> Isn't it cute? I haven't gotten any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. The question becomes... Why was this paper found in a train car Shadow Station in? Because he was going to get her band tickets as a birthday present. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. 
I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's Band Tickets website exists because... <clears throat> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Tuh. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Uh, Sh Shadow... I used that printer early and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the... Uh, yes. That's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The prize is ruined anyway. Ugh. Probably our fault there. <laughs> Sorry. That's all the detective job is, I suppose. Huh. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so that they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up with, to you, you can come with me. Uh, I, uh... I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. <laughs> I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Huh. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. It wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journal supporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your, uh... Big scoop. I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Shile, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Is that a damaged arm? You really sort out my evidence before I continue. 
In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the, the conductor's car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him without the train at Don't tell- No! Do wait a minute, no. He said he was leaving, didn't he? No. No. He did say that he was he was going to the driver compartment or the conductor's chamber. Is the conductor in on this? Whoa, wait a minute. I didn't even think about him. Huh. So, out of everybody that it could be, at this point, it's either Amy or the conductor. If he's really in on it. Holy shit. Okay. Maybe not Amy, but she's still not safe from rest of the time. Yo, <laughs> yeah, please do. Please do. <clears throat> Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Okay. This is an arm controlling the train. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they just show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I watched a full movie on one. I saw a slide say happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. What the fuck is that? What is... Hey yo, what's that? Huh? Is this someone playing darts? Not a throwing dart. The blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this trip. Wait. If the arms are made to automatically detect when weapons of sort of brought onto the trap, how did this get by? Unless, unless, if we factor in that it might be the conductor that killed Sonic, maybe he brought it on and told the arms to ignore the fact that he had a blow dart. And, oh shit. Okay. That shouldn't be possible. Hales is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to the inventory. Okay. So there's a speaker, there's a vent. There's a controls, there's a cup, and there's a damaged arm. Ah, this robot arm is completely torn off. Ah, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. Log this. Aye aye, sir. Wait, that's it? That's all the clues? We're not gonna check the vent? Or the cup? Or anything? Huh. Okay. I feel like this stuff is worth checking, though. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you would get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Really? Really? Are you serious? Oh, the, uh, tails. Right. Shut up. this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? Cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. The conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. 
He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. Hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Okay. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check trash bin. You're satisfied with finding clear here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize this robot arm could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. They teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. I just had to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. True. Drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys. Uh, I didn't check the speakers. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Uh, should I say something? Start beatboxing. If you hear this, your armpits stink. Child, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just, um, offering, I guess, some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Vishal. Thank you for sharing. Let me talk to Shadow. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he'd have to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> uh all right what do you think for child ready to solve the case yeah wait i should save and just in case i fuck this up hello everyone it's the birthday girl speaking please report to the conductor car at once Wonderful to have you all here. Nails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Fashio. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Uh. Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many anemones. I feel catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective or scientist mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says the train does escape rooms. What the hell kind of train is this? I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Ha! Ah, yeah, that'd be fun too. Oh god. Don't tell me Sonic is actually hurt some kind of way, right? What, what in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Um. Nah, this has this has to be part of the bit, right? 
There's no way he's actually fucked up, right? He's not responding to us! Uh, what? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse. Weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. Hmm. <sighs> I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Uh. uh this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. It, Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. Righting my wrong, I must take down the murderer. Tails, Michelle, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, well... It's not Vector, it's not Shadow, it's not Knuckles, it's not Blaze, it's not Rouge, it's not Espio, it's certainly not Tails. You did it. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Ah, oh, that's right, I'm picking. Damn, okay, okay, so I. Damn, 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 their lore cards really does rule, rule Amy out as the murderer. Fuck! I don't have any act other guesses then. Because everyone here is innocent. Mm, I don't see it. Can you explain your reasoning? Ah, uh, well, um, my opponent's fault. It's hard to explain. You pick someone else. Do I have to go through the whole roster? I can't use that yet. Cause like, e even... Fuck. Even with the lore cards literally giving them immunity to being the murderer, the signs still point to Amy. But... Damn it. Okay. Huh? What? Why did my random guess? Okay. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? <laughs> uh, I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espion's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espion was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right! Michelle, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espion's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. 
you didn't miss a question. But I think for Shao King, and I can explain that too. Child? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. <laughs> what? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? <clears throat> it's hidden. Uh, that's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky you wouldn't find the passage. The Shao and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Jile? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? It would be Shadow, right? That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Give me a hint. They told us we could see something later, and now is the time to look. Who told us that? Wait, shit, who told us that? I don't... You can see something later, and now it's a ton... I feel like Blaze will say something like that. But... Okay, all right, I'm going with Amy. That's not Amy either? Rouge? Oh shit, oh! Oh, that's right, that's right, she had the blueprint, oh! I forgot about that. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used the scout. More treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Fashal, you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Hmm. If we take into account Espio's ninja training, he could have very easily stolen it. Mm. Hmm. Does a code included with these blueprints I thought was odd? That code is classified information. Did these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the, condu the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espion could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Hmm. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way! In my theory, Espion looked at the blueprints and then used a hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Fashile and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm SBL caused Sonic, but Fashile and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, oh this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? 
Glow Dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, folks, you're so close, Michelle. What would Sonic do? Yeah, it makes sense to use the blow part, the blow dart, because that's some ninja shit. Whoa! Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. This blow dart was found here, in a conductor room. <laughs> I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Uh, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm... unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? Do you deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? He's right. Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails on something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have the key. He would have to have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Michelle and I know another way it could have been done. Do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Not? So... Maybe the train map? No, so it's the blueprints again. How would it be the blueprints again? Unless... Unless there's a hidden passage... There's two hidden passages on the blueprints. Is there another hidden passage on the blueprints? Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Ah! <clears throat> the There's a path above the conductor's car. And it goes all the way to the dining Oh, shit! Yo! <laughs> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of... long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it... through the vent over there? Yeah, see? I, kn I knew! I knew! that the vent was going to come into play one way or another. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here. And a track. A track? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Uh, Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. This feels right. It's feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? I think about my argument. 
can do this, Shile. You can do this. No! Wait. Shit. No! I f didn't jump! Alright, I got it this time. I got it this time. I don't got it this time. Damn it. All right. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. The robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight been between Sonic and the robot arms? Uh, I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit a lot of these are coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. <clears throat> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received the hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <clears throat> T Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Really? I misheard you? Y yes, I said, uh... Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. 
I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with the hidden passage? Gah! And now you're lying to me? On my birthday? Of all days? <laughs> I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. Holy shit! If Espio was the one that actually did Sonic in, that's crazy, because the whole time I'm sitting here like, nah, it was Amy, regardless of her lore card immunity. Oh, snap. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only been one person. It was you, Espio! Yo, I love this picture. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh! Ugh. Hey guys, Sonic, you're okay, Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was a murderer, right, Espio jumped me in the conductor's car, oh it was, <laughs> oh my god, it was Espio, holy shit, Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. Dang it. You got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something. important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The trains are bad. Yo, Eggman is involved in this. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, what? What? How was the train a bad nick? Well, I mean, I, that would explain the arms. Kind of. And why they only would listen to the conductor. But. Huh. Damn. Sonic, are you feeling alright? You need to lie back down. No. We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked you the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. The Flicky from Tails' backstory? <laughs> oh! A Flicky? A tiny animal? There's only one person twist enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh... Certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the Flicky, 
I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Uh. Uh. Mm. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Uh. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right to the robot arm, slices off the rail it was on. Wow. Means he lived any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. <sighs> the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Holy shit! Oh no! Hmm... Uh. Oh... Everyone... I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. Shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Uh, I was just following the rules. What? Huh? There's no way, bro. What is that? It says... Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-sleep, non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. Signed, Staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Michelle, who do you think attacked Espio and handed- uh, Attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself was plotting something. Uh huh? First we learned the train's a bad Nick. And now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly, it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Uh, come out and show yourself. The Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What the fuck was that? Uh... Okay. What did you two do? Is that... The conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him! Ugh. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We're right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? 
after I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, right the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed! Everyone grab something! Hmm... Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Whoa! I can't keep my footing! Holy shit! Ugh. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. Ugh. My head! Tails? Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arm still us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Huh? Oh, it didn't let me. It was letting me click it at first. Yeah. Things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation is dark, it's up to us to shine a way forward. Ah. Uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's go to our bearing and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Hmm. Took that assault that spill. No wonder you're having bad luck. Quick, pick some up and toss it over your shoulder. Okay. On in there, over the shoulder. Perfect. Not really tall. Luck is turning around. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin folder. What's this ticket doing in there? Maybe he confused his napkin for a ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Aw, oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. Now we got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train size couldn't be beat. I was excited. All we've been through? I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. Hey, one of the robot robotic arms are here too. Ah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. What else is there to it? Oh. Yellow glow is chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. Oh. Well, that's better than yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? No one there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ha ha ha! You spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. 
so I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just for more useful future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Doctor Predictable? The people fear giant spheres, it's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Uh, did you not know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to know what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But... For a luxury train, I want to be sure things ran without my supervision, and report to me if any of you happened to board. The train's capabilities of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. This confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See? I got the thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So, I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures get the generous reward. Ugh. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train, it may ask for something more interesting. Much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. It's tough. The train has the motivation. And being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. Hmm... What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. And I've been more assertive earlier? Damn bro, don't beat yourself up. I have fault here? Whoa, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing here? What's all this for? Hey. Huh? I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... I get it. They're always getting tough. It's either the question and decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open.
Ha! Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we get another break after this. Ready to go? That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. Fill the conductor car to end this mystery. I appreciate that. It doesn't matter, Remix. Alright. My friend's locked in the cars up ahead. My last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. Man, they were not playing when they said everything is canon. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do it! Uh oh. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Alrighty. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner under reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. This has been a stellar adventure so far. Ow. Sonic! About time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. I almost no hit that. They locked away Emmy and Tails in the conductor car. Say no more. Let's go. Oh shit. My invulnerable my invincible period does not last very long. I gotta redo that one. I love the sprite work for Sonic in this. Okay. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Ha! This is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another Death Egg. Don't teleport us to the future, don't answer the thoughts. 
Oh, is this a Sonic CD reference? Yes, it is a Sonic CD reference. Teleport you all... Oh, to the future, where I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that. Whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Drain. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. The wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Ah, that Eggman. I must get my wish. Ah, I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. What? Whoa, wait. Where, am I fighting the fucking train? Holy shit, I'm fighting the train. Yo. I was not expecting a train boss fight. This is fucking awesome! I don't have no fucking rings. I got- I'm sorry, I got so distracted by how unexpectedly cool this is. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. Uh, aww. Aw, he said the train conductor's retiring. Aw, man. Damn, I kind of feel bad for the train. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Ah, damn it. Whoa. Eggman. Eggman. Can you hear me? My wish. My wish. My wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. WHY WOULD HE BETRAY ME?! Damn, never did I think I'd be fighting a train that had feelings. Conductor! You promised me! You promised! Let him speak! Unhand him! Train! Stop this! When I told you we'd be together forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses! How dare you abandon me! I'll be lonely! So lonely! Why must you insist this loneliness upon me? Uh. No, stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! Gah. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train! Oh, shit! Holy shit, dude! Whoa! Oh shit, we got lasers now? Ah, damn it! I got this. Ah, damn it! A 
Okay, we did it. Let's go! But that is fucking horrible, Eggman. A oh, Flicky? This is just like the lore card! But well, my ex best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman! So this really is a bad Nick. Stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him! On it! Let's show our full power! Shit, in a minute, I... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if somebody went into their fucking super form at this rate! Holy shit! Oh my god! No! No! God damn it! Oh fuck, dude. This game is crazy. Absolutely, fucking lootly, dude. I, this is way, way much more than I was expecting. Holy shit. Alright, that's another hit. Just... Just be delivered to Eggman already! What, what about... What about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you! Amit7957 has purchased one chest of cards and got three cards. I appreciate that. Alright, that's hit number three. No! 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 I'll grab the flicky. Huh? Oh, okay, he got him. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Damn. Well, she is very fucking strong with that damn hammer, so I can believe, but damn. Wait. We grabbed the conductor beforehand, right? Nice. Love to see it. Okay, the conductor was safe. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Ugh. <gasps> I... I just... couldn't bear to see you go. I'm... sorry... for the... trouble. Huh? I think our work here is done. Let's get off this thing. Hmm... Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Damn. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, that's not your fault, old timer. We did it. Well, honestly, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh? You don't love parties where someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh, that is that his what? Oh, oh, that is adorable. Yo, oh, that that is just lovely. Oh, you love to see it. God damn. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. I'm just glad you're here. Quick! Willie Fox will going in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh? Who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. I don't know how to make Flicky noises. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SBO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously. A dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic! I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where did he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery! And look what I bought! Ah! A birthday cake! Happy birthday, Amy! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy, and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough <laughs> to know if personality is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys! You almost got murdered by a lonely train, but... <laughs> but... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. <laughs> Yay! I hope it's chocolate. That was a really fun experience. That train's now. Oh my god, Sage! Yo! Yo! Ah! Yo!
my god! You've gotta be kidding! There's no way, bro! Oh! Oh, god! Oh! Oh, god! Oh! Oh, my god! She even has on a Let's Go Dad shirt! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Holy shit! Holy shit! Damn! I was not expecting that. Man. <coughs> <coughs> that train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, bear bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Oh. I can... Hmm. I'm gonna stick with it. Stuck with the gig. Then... Um... Okay. After all that, I... Yeah. That's just been my life. What a lovely fucking experience, yo! Oh my god! That was awesome! Listen, no, okay, okay. I have been asking for a Sonic visual novel for a very, very, very long time. And I never, ever thought that I would get one. But then they just drop this on us, and it's like, by the way, it's free. So I'm like, what the fuck? Because I saw it on Twitter. And I was like, there's no way this is a thing. Because, you know, I saw, I read it, and I saw, um, oh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm like, what? Get out of here. And then I check it again later, as I was getting ready for stream to play Trails of Cold Steel, and then I actually sat and watched the thing, and it was a visual novel, I immediately changed stream plans right then and there. Oh, what a good, what a good time. What a good fucking time, yo. That was great. That was genuinely Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, a good time. I had fun with this. I had a lot of fun with this. Man. They, they, they really... They, they did fucking great with this. And I appreciate all the musical references and... All the combats, like games and stuff, and yada yada yada. I, I loved every every bit of this. And and it's also been a long time since I uh um engaged with the murder um, <clears throat> a murder mystery of any kind. So not only was this a good um visual novel, it's also a a very fun, light-hearted murder mystery experience. It was very good. Very, very good. And, of course, to anyone that sees this, it's free. Go ahead and download it. It's on Steam. It's a free game. 
It's not gonna take you very long. Just do you do yourself a favor and download it and play it. Go ahead, do that for yourself. Man. Are they gonna make another one? I would hope so. Cause they, cause they, there's no possible way that like people could see this and hate it. And and when I say hate it, I mean like they can't hate this the same way that some people hate other Sonic games. This This is going to be positively received no matter what. And anyone that like you know nitpicks it or hates on it, they're just hating for the sake of hating. That's it. That that's literally it. I cannot find any reason to get angry and get mad at this game. There's no way. There's no way. Man. What a good time. <laughs> Big the cat the dog. <laughs> Production pets and moral support. The stray cats outside Justin's house. <laughs> Thank you, Sega, for letting us make this game, and thank you for playing. Happy April Fool's Day. Observed. Bye, Sega. Good job, Sega. Very, very good. And that's that.